Yo, this is Sojourn86 bringing you another video. Another topic I felt inspired to talk about was competition in gaming and how we have seen it work so far, at least with the wrestling side of things. And it can continue to get even better just with the upcoming stuff that's coming out, like Wrestling Code, Ultra Pro Wrestling. Um, so, yeah, man, I just I thought about it today in terms of like AEW, Fight Forever and 2K. AEW Fight Forever, as we know, just it turned out to be a dud. I don't even touch the game anymore. I, I did end up getting like Swerve Strickland and stuff, and I was playing it for a little bit before 2K came out. <laughs> but uh, after that, it was just kind of like, eh. When 2K24 came out, I have literally, I just, I haven't even been inspired to reinstall the game. It's currently uninstalled. However, with that being said, I did have my fun with uh, Fight Forever while it lasted. I even tried to kind of revitalize that game, fun factor wise, with when it comes with how I felt about it. Uh, and I can acknowledge what it did for 2K in terms of the blood that we've never seen 2K have before. The blood actually is more realistic and better in 2K than it is in Fight Forever, even though when Fight Forever added that, when everybody saw it, pretty much the majority of us all went crazy like oh man look at how they like did the blood this time like it can get worse it's getting on the ropes it's getting on the turnbuckles um but then over time it disappears and that may have been kind of like what they needed to do to get it to uh the rating that they wanted it to like the teen rating i think is what they wanted um but man it the way that it splat the blood splatters and stains and it stays in the ring and 2k is awesome like it'll go from being dark blood like dark red being like fresh and then it stains the mat and it starts to turn a lighter color because it's a stain you know eventually and it, it, i mean you can stain the the mat outside the ring skirt if they're rolling inside of the ring like it, it'll you'll see it on the ring skirt it's just it's just awesome man the tossing of weapons the the ramp camera angle there's 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 so many little details that were adding were added to this game and clearly you could tell it's from the influence and impact of AEW Fight Forever. And that's what kind of brings this video's topic, you know, um why I wanted to talk about this uh, in this in this uh, video today. It's it's kind of like what I would see with NBA Live and NBA 2K. Now I was a live head for a long time until the first NBA 2K. A lot of people come to find out it took people a while to kind of get used to 2K. A lot of people were still like an NBA live over 2K for like years. I think it wasn't until like what 2K 10. I hear a lot of people say like 2K 10 or 2K 11. For some people, it was like maybe like 2K 6. I don't know, but it wasn't immediate like it was with me. I can't remember what year everybody kind of jumped on that bandwagon. But for me, I liked NBA 2K um, from the get go, like from the get go, it became my number one game. Me, but but needless to say, you fast forward to when 2K just started taking off on the competition because what what was it when when live hit was it PS3 or PS4, one of them. Live just couldn't keep up. They just could not keep up. However, there was some good years here and there. I remember loving NBA Live 18. I, I did. I personally loved NBA Live 18. But even for the years that Live was around, when 2K was around, when NBA, while, while you know NBA 2K was around, you knew that the devs knew their game was better. Right? You knew everybody in that company knew up and down, like, look, EA cannot... <laughs> they can't keep up with us like we are destroying them clearly they know this they're not stupid however they also didn't take them so lightly to the point where they would just bring out a mediocre game a lot of the times they would bring out there'd be years when 2k and, and the reason why i'm saying years when 2k and live were coming out together is because for a while NBA Live, they were struggling so much, they would miss a lot of years. Like, I remember they were supposed to come out with NBA. They changed the name to NBA Elite. And we all know how that happened, that glitch with the uh, with the uh, demo. 
and completely changed plans on that game and it got canceled. And for a while, NBA Live was canceled. And I think it didn't come back until NBA Live 15. If I'm not mistaken, you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure like NBA Live stayed away for a while and then NBA Live 15 came out. And that's when they kind of started coming out yearly again. But even with those years where they were coming out yearly, 2K would, it was like they would try to put their foot on their neck. Figuratively speaking, they would try to put their foot on their neck because that's what competition does. It kind of keeps you on your toes. You don't want to take anything lightly. So yeah, the devs knew. Right on both ends, really, because even Kenny Omega said that NBA, uh, that AEW Fight Forever is not going to be able to compete with. Uh, he said this in an interview. It's not the same type of game produ- from a production standpoint. All of that. He was like, it's not the same kind of game. Um, but you know that the devs knew that their game was better. The 2K devs know they they were like, our game is better. Like it was like one of those things of we don't we don't really have anything to worry about, but they paid attention to what AEW Fight Forever had in it, and you know they did. They paid attention to what the game had. It was like, huh? Okay, they have this. The community is taking a liking to this. Their community is taking a liking to this. There's some good things about this game. Not to mention Brian Williams. He worked on AEW Fight Forever came back over right before that game released he came over back to back to working on the 2k games and it's not a coincidence that brian williams that worked on aew fight forever brought over some stuff from that game because he even knew that those things would be cool that those things would be a hit like let's just let's just be honest you know what I mean? So, and that's just, it was just kind of on my mind to talk about this, man. I know I was kind of like all over the place, but I just needed to talk about this because I'm really, and I bring it up because I'm really enjoying 2K and I'm enjoying 2K for the little things that they've added this year. Um, I've said in many videos, if you go back and look at all of my videos, whether I'm critiquing 2K, which I mostly do, whether I'm critiquing whether I've got I got some harsh words for 2K, I always talk about the small details. I always talk about them. And even though not every small detail is nailed in this year's game, they got a healthy start on on a lot of them. They got a healthy start on a lot of them. I've I've made videos where I talked about how the managers stay in their clothes, they're not ready to wrestle. Uh they're they're out there as a as a manager and it just it a lot of the stuff just works. A lot of the stuff just works this year, man. And I can only imagine when Wrestling Code comes out, when that game actually does finally come out, what they have in it, how how it will impact 2K, how Ultra Pro Wrestling will impact 2K, because Ultra Pro Wrestling right now sounds like a very, very great game. It's a very ambitious game. And... Again, you have to look at the scope of even if your competition isn't the greatest, even if you're better than your competition, there's still things that you can learn from your competition. There's still things that you can take from your competition, right? It's all about not taking them lightly. And that's what game companies, video game companies have always been able to do. Not take the other competitor lightly. Madden versus NFL 2K. They went battle for battle. You couldn't get mad at anybody for saying that, man, Madden is dope this year. You couldn't get mad at anybody for saying NFL 2K is dope. A lot of people preferred 2K over Madden at that time. And Madden was bringing out great games back then. Compared to what they bring out now, Madden was bringing out great games. They really had a healthy competition. They had a healthy competition. It was awesome. And it was awesome to experience during that time because it was like, man, you didn't always have to play the same game every year. That's the beauty of it. The beauty about competition is that, look, if you get sick of one game and you got another game, you know, we had a luxury of having a lot of, you know, a lot of you guys know we had the luxury of having multiple wrestling games from the same company out. 
So, so if we didn't dig the Xbox ones, we could go play the PlayStation ones. If we didn't dig the PlayStation ones, we can go play the Nintendo ones. And you know what I mean? Like every console had its own wrestling games. If you liked all of them, that was a plus. But every console had its own wrestling games. But at the end of the day, man, that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video was that we're, we're seeing how competition helps, man. I Listen, if you're somebody who bought 2K24 or you didn't buy 2K24 because you still feel like eh, it's not enough. I respect that because it does still need to 2K still has a lot to improve on. I'm not about to sit up here and act like everything I said doesn't mean anything anymore because I like this year's installment. No, 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 no. <laughs> that that does not mean that. Just because I like this year's does not mean they're they're great. It's perfect. It's sunshine and rainbows. No, no, no. But I definitely can acknowledge the influences that having competition brings to a game because it helps you not rest on your laurels. You're just you're not like, ah, we got this. We're about to make money. We could just bring out the same stuff year after year. There's nobody competing with us. Because Fire Pro Wrestling wasn't competing with 2K. And Fire Pro Wrestling is a pretty good wrestling game, but it's not it, it it no, it doesn't get it I don't it's not enough. But when you have the rival wrestling company, AEW and WWE are the two biggest companies in wrestling today. Just like how back in the day it was WWE and WCW. It's that it's that same level all over again. Those are the two big dogs. And when you have the new kid on the block that's as big and they're making a video game, you best believe that 2K is going to take that serious and take things from that. They're like, okay, man, we could, we could use this. I just, I don't believe in coincidences. It's not a coincidence that 2K added in all of this stuff all of a sudden. Brian Williams had a lot to do with it on top of them at the, at the team seeing what AEW Fight Forever brought to the table because AEW Fight Forever for all of its flaws and it has a lot of flaws because it's so, cause it's bare bones with all of its flaws and the mistakes that they've made they did a great job making a, a, a good fun wrestling game I still think at, it, at its core AEW Fight Forever is a good game it's not a complete dud it's fun to play the controls are good um yeah that's pretty much it it's fun that's pretty much it like it's fun to play the controls are awesome um and it's just the little details the 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 certain matches all of that stuff uh they they went for it they really went for it so that's just like what i wanted to say man it, it, it's um i know i've like i've said that like four or five times now but uh but yeah man competition is healthy especially in gaming man we need it it benefits us more than anything it benefits us it really does it really really does man so i mean like look that's why honestly that's why when you look at nba 2k and madden they're kind of there's they're kind of struggling now in terms of like yes they're making money but Every once in a while, I'll like look on YouTube and see what people are saying about the game. And this year, more than any other year in the past, I've seen a lot of negativity when it comes to NBA 2K. Like a lot of negativity. It's really starting to get at people and even the people that play it religiously. It's really starting to get at people now. Just the, how they operate, the microtransactions, all that type of stuff, man. It's starting to really get at them. And I personally think a lot of that is because, look, there's no other basketball game to play and there's no other football game to play. So it it is what it is, man. Competition is is healthy. Competition's good. And gaming has always and will continue to need competition. It just will. So I'm excited for the future to see what wrestling code and ultra pro wrestling and if aew comes out with another game maybe they might stop aew fight forever and work on a completely new game and can kind of change the whole outlook of the experience right and and then that can take games further right so this all benefits people who listen if, if 2k is your game these other wrestling games could make 2k better and even better and even better like there might be some things that ultra pro wrestling has 
that 2K might end up implementing. You never know. Wrestling Code could have some things that 2K might implement later on down the road. So competition's healthy, man. And we're, we definitely saw this year what competition does. We saw this year with 2K, even if you're somebody who, who's still just like, eh, it's still to this, it's still this, it's, it, I'm still a little annoyed with this stuff. I Trust me, I get it, and I'm not going to argue with you at all, because <laughs> I, I, I get it, I understand. But uh, but yeah, man, all right, this video's going on longer than I wanted it to, but again, every time I get one of these feelings, I got to talk about it. That's how I, my videos come about. Like, I'll just be in the car, like driving, and I'm just like, huh, you know what I mean? And it just an idea pop up. And so I had to, man, like I literally just got home and I was like, I have to record this. I, I have to. So uh, anyways, man, thank you guys for tuning in as always, uh, even for the parts where I was kind of like all over the place. Again, I was like real excited, but I wanted it to be real. I didn't want to collect and calm myself and like plan it out too much you know what i mean like none of my videos are like that man it's it's, it's got to be off the cuff but uh thank you guys for tuning in as always man it's your boy soul drum 86 and i'm out peace